Okay, so I'm going to just show you briefly. Um, I'm going to talk about the administration block. As a teacher, um, you will have access to this block on the left here. And so I just wanted to show you a few things about how to use it. Um, first of all, turn editing off is um, here in this block. So you can turn editing on and off here, just as you can in the top right hand corner. Uh, this area is settings and um, you will be seeing a, a video that uh, talks more about this. But I did want to mention to everyone that it's important to write a short summary of your course here in the settings, even if you don't do anything else. Assigning roles, um, as you can see, I'm assigned as teacher and administrator in this course. When I set you up for a course, I will be uh, setting a role for you as a editing teacher. And um, the only other roles that you really need to think about at this point are student. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that area. This is the grade book, which has been changed in this version of Moodle 1.9. Has it been changed for the better? Mm, not sure about that one. But as you can see, um, any quizzes that I have created, the forums that are rated, and all assignments automatically appear in the grade book as I add them. And uh, there's a lot more to talk about with the grade book that we're not going to talk about right now. This uh, link helps you back up your course. It's not a bad idea after you get all your work done to back it up because you can restore a course. You can also import a course. That means you can get it from one place and send it somewhere else. For example, to another server. Resetting the course is something you don't want to do. <laughs> um, it'll set it all back to the default so you lose all your information. Now, reports are uh, important. Uh, I, let's just click on that really quickly. Uh, with the report function, you can actually track what your participants are doing online. And if you want to, you can track what they're doing online in a specific assignment. And uh, that's sort of interesting. And also if you're grading people for participation, this is one way you can track participation. Questions are, uh, will hook you to any questions that you've created in Moodle for quizzes. This a particular link is for files. If you want to upload files right to your Moodle course, for example, handouts, uh, Word documents, PowerPoints, that you simply want to put a link to in your materials, this is a quick and easy way to do that. And as you can see, you can make a folder um, if you want to organize your files. you don't want to enroll yourself but here's how you do it and last but certainly not least is your profile please remember to go to your profile and edit it I'd like to see some information about you and so do every your classmates so in this area you would talk a little bit about yourself you can upload a picture of yourself please do include your interests any other information, for example, if you have a home web page you'd like people to know about, maybe um, a phone number, department number. So that, in a nutshell, is the administration block. How about that? I forgot to talk about groups. Okay, groups is very important function because um, when you're teaching an online class, well, one of the things we are aiming for here is we want group, we want uh, people to interact with each other. So, as I'm sure you're well aware, it's a lot 
more it's a lot easier for people to interact in smaller groups like say four or five people than it is to interact in a group of 25 or 30 people so one of the things you're probably going to want to do is break your students up into groups and assign group activities and you uh, will be doing group activities in this class to get a taste of what that's all about so as you can see I have no uh, students right now but um, what you do here is you simply create a group and you call it something. I'm just going to call it group one. You do not have to have a group description. It's up to you if you want to have groups with an enrollment key. It doesn't really make any sense. I'm going to save changes. And so now I have group one. Now if I had some students over here I would simply click on the student's name and I would click on add or remove users and it would pop them over here into group one so I can make as many groups as I want and I can also auto create groups which means that Moodle will just arbitrarily divide up the students in the class into the appropriate number of groups depending on how many people I want in a group so I hope that makes sense